old school like that, but but prettier, prettier. <laughs> Sorry, Raptor jump scared me for a second because he misclicked Kirby. I was like, huh? VG Camonte, listen, if it's a 30 minute set, uh, <laughs> you know, you can always get a subscription to House of 3000 so you can uh, skip those ads. You can uh, be here for every single minute of that 30 minute set. Absolutely. Yes. What's that? Ooh, look at that! <laughs> I'm changing. Oh, I'm so sorry, VJ. Camonte? Is it Camonte? Camonte. Is it Camonte or Camont? Oh, oh, oh VG say Amonte. I'm so sorry. VG oh, say Amonte. Amonte. Thursday, you're funny player for. Amonte or Amont? It, do let me know. I, 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 as someone with a very difficult name to pronounce, I, I, I take it in my heart to pronounce that correctly. And John Numbers takes it to heart to get that first stock. <laughs> Yep, 78%. And this movement around the battlefield platforms as well, making use of this Sonic Music counterpick. The Sunset Hills, John Numbers going fast right now. Whoa, very scary forward smash there as John Numbers tries to get that uh, forward, forward air of their own. Okay, very safe pressure here from Raptor, Ooh. but losing a lot of percentage here. As John is going for double down smash? Yeah, I mean, John does use that down smash as kind of an anti-air thanks to its, you know, low profile capabilities. It's so good at catching landings. Raptor, though, firing back with the down B, doesn't want to get caught by the header on the platform. And now, finally, Raptor on the board, but 82%. He's got to make something happen here. All right, let's see here. Uh, Raptor just flying out there. And John is setting up that soccer ball. But uh, going away, avoiding the egg. Oh my gosh, where did these upstrings into it? Neutral are trying to go for the early kill with that forwarder, which was so useful against Sora in that last set. But it's not going to work here. John Numbers just a little too smart for that. I love these soccer ball things <gasps> from John. Whoa! No! That was cool. Somebody clipped that. John able to catch the double jump from Raptor as he tried to get an edge guard, but. It's like the old saying goes, you can never edge guard John numbers. John did the numbers and he came out winning. Ooh, all right. Raptor looking for some ledge trapping. Does get the meaty thanks to the down air. Resetting the situation, but you got to be careful going off stage. We can, we've seen what John is capable of is if he's able to take your double jump. All right, John actually not getting deep breathing online. A little afraid of what Raptor was going to do there, but actually gets on stage with a roll in. Finally, deep breathing on. Raptor is not safe there. A re-grab, ooh, very risky against John, but just far away to get away with it. I want to say I love that deep breathing from John Numbers. He knew that Raptor was going to be going to ledge because John has called out his double jump so often, and that's not something you want to give up as Yoshi so easily. So just great awareness there from John to optimize the, the resource game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, like if it's just too far away to punish, might as well just save that timer. Okay, manages to get back on. Let's see what Raptor's gonna do. Nothing, absolutely nothing. He's gonna take that sun salutation right to the face. Yep, these soccer balls just doing so good at mixing up Raptor just by existing on the screen. Finally though, Raptor firing back with the back air. 145 though, he's gotta make a miracle happen. But oh, Yoshi- Oh, that rage, terrifying. Yeah, Yoshi with battlefield platforms, he can definitely do it. I mean, might as well call Yoshi Godzilla at this point with how hard they can hit. Ooh, all right. Does use the double jump to try and threaten back on wow, the stage. Wow, what a beautiful fastball, actually, to catch John's uh, low profile there with the planks. And look, if the planks aren't going to hurt, Yoshi's going to hurt. All right, John right now playing the projectile game, using the, uh, the protection of the battlefield platforms. Back throw? No, no okay. not enough to kill. Yep. A forward throw would have killed if that was at ledge, but not quite yet. Spanish burrito, this, if I you were a burrito. do it with the deep breathing as well. 200 after the hit. It's going to be John taking game one. All right. John Numbers taking game one with uh, 191. That was tough. I mean, Yoshi finally dying at 205. That's a tough match. It's a heavy dinosaur. I know. Here's the thing, like, you know, it'll, it took a meteor to take them out, <laughs> all right? It's going to take a lot more to take one out. Three, two, one, go! 
Yo, that that's yeah? a novel right there. Publish that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'll buy it. And that portal was in Long Island. That portal's name? Zeno. Oh! Oh no, the Nintendo Ninjas are coming out. But the Nintendo Ninjas are not going to be here to get a nerf or a buff here for these two characters. This is the final version of the game as we go into game number three. Yep, and we're going to be seeing if it's the final game of Loser's Semis or if Raptor is able to bring us to a game three, a great forward air to get things started, keeping numbers at the ledge. But, you know, he is so comfortable right there, getting those resources online. I love the empty movement using that sun salutation wave bounce. The soccer ball scientist once again catching it, that angle. It may be empty movement to a casual viewer, but for those who are like, Oh, the empty jumps? Like, no, that is positioning, and that is so important it's, in this matchup. It's empty, but it's not empty of meaning. Yes, exactly. Just like my heart. <laughs> oh! There we go. There's the text. That's John Numbers, baby. He's back! Oh, no! Back oh, like good. he never left. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in the venue the whole time. <laughs> All right, finally, though, the back air. John <laughs> hanging his head in shame. Ah, just, just, a, oh. just a quick little shame. Be like, man, this shouldn't have happened. Man. That's, All right, that's do, what it, I, do it again. Run that's it what I hear when I, I see John hang his head like that. Just, man. Just a, <gasps> All right. As a, wow. A very, very frantic ledge guard situation here. <laughs> Raptor just trying to be so aggressive against John. Not something that you, a lot of people get to live and tell the tale of. But uh, Raptor doing such an amazing job here with that pressure. Those eggs. And finally winning the neutral interaction. Yep, and Raptor keeping himself safe as well, not wanting to hard commit like he did in game one. And we saw how badly that worked out for him. Does use the double jump early, but able to make it back in time for a ledge trap reacting to that roll. Whoa, that talent smash catching Raptor by surprise. Even after all that work to get that down there, make that shield almost close to breaking, but Raptor here last stock but John numbers close to triple digits is gonna have to fight to keep their the second stock yeah and I mean they that's... may make it back but it's gonna be tough right. and a wonderful trade from Raptor going in deep and getting John to the last stock yeah we could potentially be seeing a game three Swiss as Raptor having the momentum back in his favor reacting to the uh, the getup attack dead even percents <gasps> down to Harry. the decimal John, I don't think, was expecting that as they just uh, give up advantage position there. All right, another back air. John did use the air dodge already. That could have been Raptor's chance to make something happen, but didn't want to risk getting clipped by the hula hoops. Tried to combo break using the down B, but John continuing on this pressure, getting this damage on. Whoa, the patience. All right, John, off stage, but not out. Still in advantage, but uh, Raptor going off, trying to do anything to just uh, get John to die. Yeah, John, number those invincible. Yeah, J or Raptor, we're starting to see some of that aggression come back online off stage. We got to be careful at these extremely high percentages. Numbers continuing to use this deep breathing as the Whoa. faint, forcing the air dodge grab and getting the sun salutation. John with a, an extremely hard fought 2-0 over Raptor. Yeah, Raptor just playing out of their mind. That offstage pressure is something that's so rarely seen against John. So props to him for actually going out and doing that. Absolutely. See, that's the trick, folks. You can't be afraid, but you got to have a game plan. You can be a little bit afraid. Uh, yeah. I mean, yes, it's, but, it's but use that for courage. It, it, a healthy, healthy afraidness. You, you know, okay. use that for courage. Not, not afraid, but have yeah. like a little bit of self-preservation. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because as we saw here, look at that. The eggs, the, the nice little shimmy there to break that shield down. But mm -hmm. honestly, that low <clears throat> pry was just so, so great. Yeah, and it's like you wouldn't think that a move that is so like incredibly close to the ground is an anti-air. But yeah. that's what I mean when, it, when I call it an anti-air because it's so good at catching people scrambling with like short hop aerials and stuff. Right, but as you saw there, you know, if you do have the, if you do have shield advantage, just just poke John. It's okay. Yeah. But obviously, we saw the thing where you know John was able to reverse that situation into like because they tech. So yes, when you're talking about healthy 
preservation. Like, if you know that John is too close to the stage, don't even try. Yeah. Do something that's safe where you can get back. But uh, honestly, phenomenal work there from Raptor as uh, John switches sides because uh, here's the thing. Dill loves that side. That is their that is their favorite side. That is where the cat ears are. Yes. If Dill comes over and plays you on set, they're gonna be like, Can I take player two? <laughs> and if your answer is yes, haha, <laughs> you have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You've given her the power up. Yes. Alright, but let's see what we're gonna do. Obviously it's gonna be Wii Fit versus Rob. What do you think of this matchup? They've played each other so many times at this point. Honestly, almost like three hundred times at this point if we're going by True. just numbers. I, mean, I think in just in terms of like how often they played, I think John is a little bit up on uh, you know how many times he's taken the set. I mean, obviously we do have the. Um, I mean, John just has like the the 